Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new to it or you haven't already, thumbs up and subscribe. Um, it's all about blues harmonica and today I'm just talking over this tune Evil written by the, the great bass player and blues man Willie Dixon of which uh, a lot of his tunes have been used by the old greats and the modern people as well. Uh, fantastic some of the stuff he's written. It's poetry in motion some of it. Absolutely fantastic. As a lot of the, the traditional great blues was of course. Um, Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf uh, was very well known for doing this. Uh, evil, of course. Um, so I'm just going to show you the, the, the basics on the harmonica. Uh, I slightly just work to the track, so I'm, I'm playing slightly different on that. Millions of different interpretations of how you want to go about it. This is just the, a basic straight way that you could use, um, and it will give you a springboard for everything else. So, so I'm just kissing off it there in a draw. So. I'm going one draw, one draw, two draw, all the way down, one draw, up to two draw. Okay, and that's over the first four bars. And then, so I'm using three blow this time here. Normally you'd use two draw, but here seems right to use that, I think, just in this context. So, three blow. Three to half step, draw on onto three blow again, and you can use a block chord there, or or a straight chord even. You know, can work and it can sound quite rich. You know, in that context, up to you which way you want to go. Then go back to the original. See the way I'm accenting that. Just depends how you want to do it or how your bass player or whoever you're working with, guitar player is working. Okay, and then the last uh, chord that you need is... So, three draw full step, four blow, back onto three draw full step, and then onto four draw. But you, uh, again, you can use a, a draw chord here, look, or um, tongue blocker. Whichever way you think is going to work, then it drops back down to the, um, the one we've just done. That's your three blow, three door, half step onto four blow again, or the chord. And back to your original. And that's, that's it. If you're going to do it as a solo piece, um, uh, and put your voice over the top then uh, then you're going to have to work out your displacements there of just where you're going to drop things in okay I'm not going to do that here because um, I have my way of doing it different when I'm working with the band different when you're playing solo but you can uh, mess with that and you, you'll, you'll find where you can, you can do the right things and where it works and where it doesn't work okay very very powerful tune very very powerful um, not for the faint-hearted, I think, that particular tune, but a great tune by a great writer and great people have recorded on it. Okay, so stay with it, um, keep harping, um, and get me on Harp of the Healer Wicks for, uh, for lessons and things of that nature. Podcasts out now, look at that on the website. Got three episodes so far and it's uh, gaining momentum on that one. So check that out, there might be something useful on there. All right, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Um, Catch on the rebound.